Hey, this is a quick little lesson about installing packages. Specifically in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the package Colorama. And you can get Colorama off of the internet. This is on PyPy.org, and it kind of discusses it. Now, this, in my opinion, this package is not very useful because if you actually look at what it gives you, it gives you the ability to put um, change the background, the foreground, or the style of the um, colors. And if you kind of read through it, so here's an example, by the way. So from Colorama, import four, back and style. Those are the three classes it has. And if you actually look at it, you get these um, options. And if you run this code, so let's just copy this and put this into here. If you run this in, um, oh, these IDEs don't want you to copy paste, so they make it super difficult. Uh, what happened? Control V. I, I had extra code. So you can see it just basically changes some of the color, makes it dim, and then goes back to normal. So it's it's not all that impressive. It, I mean, it's, it doesn't really do all that much different than just using the color codes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about you can actually just um, use the color codes like I had done in the previous video where you just basically can make your own classes for foreground, background, and style. And you can run those just like that. So um, I wanted to just show how you could do that. Um, so these color codes, by the way, um, it's escape character followed by the code 033 bracket. And then whatever follows determines what it is. Whoops, don't do that. So, for example, you'll notice all the foregrounds have third or three something, and there they just go one through nine. I don't know why they skip eight. <laughs> Maybe they don't like eight for some reason. And then the background, same thing. And then for the styles, it's a one M, two M, two two M, and O M. I don't know what that means, but those are what they do. The reset all is nice because you can use it to reset everything at the same time. So that's kind of cool. Um, and so what you can do is you can just embed the color codes directly into your print statements. Um, this, by the way, let me just take this out. So if you look at this um, print statement, it's just a Hello Citrus Valley High. It's kind of hard to read, but this is just, if you see this, this is just a color code. Um, this is a color code. If the 4-2 means it's a background plus... A color. So this is changing the background and the foreground of valley. So valley will be a different color, foreground and background. Um, and then this one is, again, just a background. And this is using a variable, which is something I was playing around with. You can actually create a variable instead of having the color code just to make it more similar to using Colorama. So you can see how this will look. So now it doesn't change the foreground. So, um, so for example, like if I did... If I made a variable name, I can make this anything I want. I can make this any name I want. I can say, hey, computer, anything is fg foreground dot red. So fg is the name of this class. So the computer will go to fg and then look for red. And it will basically look for this. It will just basically be inputting this. So this right here, I'm going to just copy this, is red. So I want to make citrus into red. I'm going to turn that word citrus into red. So if you look at the print statement, I can turn that into red by adding the code manually. So it looks like that. And let me run it. See? Or let me control Z that. Now it's back to green. The other option is I could actually add it as the variable. Okay. Oops. I control shift Z. So by the way, for those of you who are wondering, Control Z undo is the undo, and if you do Control Shift Z, it redoes. So if you accidentally do Control Z too many times, just do Control plus Shift plus Z, and it will go back. Um, I think uh, every machine, but maybe not. So what I can actually do is I can actually say, okay, I want Hello to be Scion, but I want Citrus to be Red. I could close the stream and then say plus anything i guess because that's what i named that word i named red so in this case anything stands for red and then reopen the string so i can i could do it as a as a variable or i could just do directly in the color code because it's the same thing remember the word anything is this right plus the code for red so that's just to show you that this works let's just show
So that works. So honestly, if I, the reason I'm bringing this up is because um, Trinket doesn't allow you to use Colorama. So if you try to do Colorama on it, it will say it's not. You can't find that package. And that's why I told my students to use REPL for this assignment. However, um, it actually isn't really necessary. You could just use the color codes manually. So it doesn't really matter. The package is kind of um, not that important. Now, I do want to talk about the package, though, because what is this whole package thing? Why can't it find it? Why is it available? Um, if you were to download Python on your computer, because remember, REPL and, Tr and Trinket are internet IDEs, so you're basically um, using someone else's web server to like run your code. So you don't have to download or install anything, which is why we're using this during dif distance learning, because you know where some of us are on Chromebooks, we can't install things, and so um, basically you're not able to download Python. So this is so internet IDEs like these allow us to do that. Um, so, but if you were on your own machine and you were to download Python, you would get all. You would actually get another program called pip, okay, and that allows you to install packages that are not there. So, if you were to download Python, and let me just bring up Python so you can see what it looks like. Um, what's going on? <laughs> so, the IDLE is basically the learn uh, the development learning environment that we're going to use. So, um, it's an interactive developing learning environment I think that's what it means so I'll do a new file here so I can make a new file it's not I don't really like it all that great it does have nice highlighting and stuff but it doesn't number the lines and it's not all that great but if I tried to to use colorama here and run this it's gonna make me save it so yeah so it'll tell you that it can't find that module because it's not standard and that's not the same for packages that are built in, like Turtle, for example. Um, and if I run it now, so there's certain packages that it comes with automatically. So you see there's no error. So if I wanted to run Colorama, I would have to install this using pip. And that's what that is. And this isn't something that's easy to teach because, like I said, we're not able to actually download. But what you actually do is you up or up, you open up the command prompt or if you're using a Mac you would use the terminal you can also use a bash window on either Windows or um, Mac if you have bash installed um, but for Microsoft they come with their own command window that's different than everyone else's of course because they're Microsoft but um, when you when you type in the search bar and you type CMD it'll pop up a window like this so again that's CMD stands for command prompt, and this is the original command prompt that they came up with when they were making their first Windows. And so old people will recognize this type of thing, and then young kids have no idea what this is really. They don't hardly ever use it unless they're computer people. Now, so this right here allows you to speak directly to the computer without dealing with the interface of Windows. So if you look at this, it says pip install Colorama. That's the what you would actually too. So pip is the program that you downloaded when you installed Python and when you tell it to install Colorama it searches and installs it so that you can use it. And this would be for every package. So like if you look at the command prompt again and you were to put that in and press enter it'll go through and collect it and then install it and then now okay so the warning is just because I haven't updated my um, pip but that's just because it's old. But now if I try to run this <clears throat> excuse me it doesn't have any problem you see so that was originally it had a problem but then the second time there was no problem so the I will admit to you though that um, Colorama doesn't work in the Python shell so even if you get it installed successfully like we did it's not gonna actually work so it's kind of a waste of time for for that but I just wanted to show you guys how to install packages using pip in the command prompt window for those of you who are working on your own machines Okay. Anyways, I know it's a kind of a long video, but it's a lot of information to cover, and hopefully that gives you guys some good insight. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that nonsense. Talk to you later.